Would you look at that? Okay, so like Brandy said, part two. Uh, this is part two, and we're gonna run this thing on E85. Right, we got some E85 right here. We've already drained the fuel out of this thing. Uh, ran it a little bit until it died. Uh, we have the Map Tuner X all hooked up. We're gonna flash this thing. We're gonna take it out and do a zero to 60. Uh, Brandy couldn't be here for this part, um, but uh, for the last video, or the video previous to this on this particular subject, uh, we went and did the 100 octane, as you saw, just re-ran it on the on these tires, just so we had a direct comparison to what we have now. Same kind of weather, same kind of tires, all that good stuff. So let's do this. Let's flash this thing and uh, fire it up, or flash this thing, throw some E85 in it, fire it up, make sure it runs okay, and then we will go. We're a little bit, a little bit tight space, a little bit of a tight space. We still have that setting there. And we can't exactly roll it in and out very easily. So what we're gonna do right now is wish that we had the key. That's right. See that one right? That's right. Uh, focus. So it's right, right there. Yeah, I wish I had that over here. Uh, we're gonna turn this, turn the key on. I haven't done this for a while. I have to think about this. Make, there, make sure everything's turned off. Uh, let's go programming. Let's go to let's go to uh, my vehicles. Let's make sure we're on the right vehicle. Trip the rip and go to home uh, information. And currently, man, okay, four R W I X one hundred. Okay, all right. So let's go back and let's go to programming, and we're gonna put this thing on. The five tune. So let's real quickly let's look at this. Uh, for R W I X one hundred, I'm just gonna click on it. The reason I'm gonna click on that is so we can see what the requirements are, which we know we've met. We already did all this, and if you've missed that, uh, we have a whole series, uh, zero to sixty on Evo stuff and a playlist. If you can't find it, comment. Uh, we'll help you get to it. But anyway, wastegate, eleven psi. So. Uh, just a little note about that. Just because you think you got it at 11 accurately with your Mighty Vac, I'd double check that with the data logging if you can. If you have that if you have that capability, I would data log it to make sure that your boost is where it should be. If you want to know more about that, uh, we can talk about it. But just a little something we've learned, you know, doing these these tunes. Anyway, so let's see. Everything else should be the same except for fuel. Launch control enabled, we do have that. Well, required components, uh, we do have the 2300 launch spring. Uh, we do have the uh, 1819 turbo R fuel pump. We do have a launch switch right there. We do have uh, bypass, we do have the exhaust. We have full Evo exhaust. We have tested E85 accurately. If you go back to the video, there's this is part two of that video. If you go back to that video, you will see that in that video we did test. Uh, we do have the injectors, uh, same wastegate waste adjustment. Um, we do have the 30 amp fuse because the reason for that is that the intercooler fan ends up running more. Uh, rev limiter, that's part of the tune. We're good. So, download. Yes. Here we go. All right. This is kind of exciting. So, stage five. Ten more horsepower than from where we've been. Car's been running great. Can't wait to see what this feels like. We'll be right back. Okay. Well, would you look at that? Done. Downloading. Complete. Next. We are on stage five. Stage five, E85. First fire up, you ready? I'm gonna fire it up from here and then let's, let's take a look at the pop-up. Hang, you know, hang in there for a minute. Let's check it out, ready? Let's do this. I also just realized I'd probably help if we put some fuel in it. What do you think? Let's do that first. Yeah. All right, so we poured the E85 in it right there. A uh, little noisy, we have the door open because we're gonna fire this thing up and uh, I don't wanna get a uh, pixinated. So, uh, 
We gotta make sure we get the first fire up on video because Brandy can't be here. So first fire up on the 85. We'll do a little bit of pop pop. Danny's gonna drop by, help me video the zero to 60. I want to see the... Oh, I wanna try on the key. I wanna see the... Um... There it is. First start. So we're all unhappy, right? It's got some adjustments to make. It's like a, a baby that just lost his bottle for the first time. Bottle's gone. He doesn't know what to think. Oh, there we go. There we go. We can do it. We're gonna let it idle and sort itself out, hopefully. Oh, uh, there it goes. There it goes. It's starting to learn where it needs to be, right? Let's see what we got. Let's get a PSI. What do you say? PSI. Of course, it's gonna be in the negative right now. Oh, look who shut up. What's going on? First fire. Does it smell like burnt fries? Not yet. It's still a little bit of mixture. Right? Yeah, it's a little unsure. So I emptied, emptied, emptied as much fuel <laughs> as I could. And then I went out and I... Um, what did you do with your finger? I don't know. I, I'm just ignoring it because... I woke up this morning with this. Yeah, I'm like, uh... I took the heater out of the trailer, so I'm assuming... You know, those sharp edges on the sheet metal. Well, I woke up this morning, looked in the mirror, I had blood spot here, here, here. I was like, what the heck happened in the middle of the night? Uh, I think my wife was picking up. I was going to say, that's because you live with, you sleep with Peggy. Okay, so me and Danny just rolled into Mexico over here. I don't know what that was about. And, uh, what are they? <laughs> and we're going to go do this. Uh, so like Brandy said, I mentioned this earlier, part two. This is part two of the two-part video, one and two. Uh, we already ran it, and we ran a 393. Yeah, 393. Fast. I think that's fastest time yet. That was last night. Different road, but it's the uh, same traction. It's, gonna it's be a lot faster than my time. <laughs> so we're going to do this thing. What we're going to do is unload the car. We're going to put the drone up in the air so we can get some video of that. That'll be cool. Some video of that. Some video from that. That'll be kind of cool. And we're going to go do this. So we'll be right back. Get the pop up going.
um, it's way, I mean, here's what, I think what, hap what happened just now is, we kind of went back, right? So, we got to where we were running in the threes by adjusting the suspension. Well, I ran in the threes last night without doing that, and I think we're in the threes again. I see some numbers down here, we'll take a look. But uh, I ran too many times back to back, but I was probably getting hot, whatnot. But before that, I think I saw some good numbers. But I think we're back to losing time again because it's spinning and he's pulled pretty hard. Yeah, he pulled up a little bit. Yeah, he pulled pretty big a couple of times. So um, I think uh, I think it's much faster, but it's, again, it's gonna be hard to tell on the draggy because of traction, wheelies, you know, the typical thing that we went, that we went through last time. So let's take a, we'll take a look at the numbers right now. Ready? And I think I, I I was trying to look at the boost 21 something. So we're still not at the 22, we're really close. But, you know, I think we're dealing with that damage compressor wheel. So weird because it ran a little bit slower today, but it ran two threes, two three, two uh, three nine eights. Uh, both a little slower, a little further distance, and then a four zero flat, four flat, and a four zero two. So basically, it's faster, but the suspension's you know it's Easy. pulling wheelies, it's slip, it's you know it's burning, it's it's slipping. Uh, spinning ain't winning. No, okay. as somebody would say. But uh, that's where it's at. It feels good. It's definitely faster. It's one of those things where we would have to. Uh, I think at this point, if we really wanted to tell the difference, there is a difference for sure. No doubt about it. But if we wanted to really be uh, aware of what that difference was, we'd have to get some like slicks or something and run the two, the, both of those tunes back to back against each other, because uh, what happens? We're adding more horsepower. We're just spinning more, pulling the front end, front end up more. But yeah. Anyway, we're gonna roll on. Uh, thanks for checking it out. We should probably get that drone down. Uh, it should be okay. We can leave it there for a couple days. It's in or not.